Hello everybody, it is July, no it's not. It's Wednesday, October 16th. so tired basically i just saw my schedule for the first time so i wanted to share it with you guys basically how my schedule works is we have eight classes in total but it's split up into two days so we basically have what we call a days and b days on a days we have our first four periods so periods one through four and then on b days we have our last four classes so periods five through eight but anyway so as for my classes my first period is history i have u.s history and then my second class of the day is astronomy which I'm super excited about my third class is pottery one which I actually have with one of my friends which I think is gonna be like so much fun and then I have calm photo I don't really know what that means I mean I'm pretty sure it has something to do with for Photography. I never even signed up for any kind of class similar to that, but it seems kind of fun. So I don't know. <laughs> and then for my B day classes, I have child education. My second one says Gen Fin Lit. I'm not sure what the Gen means, but I'm guessing it's financial literacy. And then my third period of the day is math. And then my last period is English. So honestly, I think my B-Day classes are gonna be pretty boring besides my first period. It's all like core class stuff. Basically, we have back to school night on Monday night. It's from like 3.30 to 5.30, I think. So yeah, in just a couple of days, I'm going to be going up to the school and I'm gonna be finding all my classes okay it's a few days later now it's now august 19th which means that i have four days counting today before school starts and i have done absolutely nothing to start getting ready for school yeah so it's definitely time to actually kick it in the butt and actually start doing stuff i have a few things that i'm going to be doing today the first one being something that doesn't particularly have to do with school but it is something that i like to do right before school starts and it is reorganize slash sort of reorganize my room it's a new school year there's there's a new school year and it's kind of just like a fresh start so i like to rearrange my room because it i don't know it just gives me more of a fresh start i don't know don't ask so far this is where my room is kind of starting off with i have not cleaned it yet so ignore the mess but i'm still not entirely sure what i want to do with it yet i mean i have an idea but i also don't know so we're just gonna do it and hope for the best So now that I've cleaned my room, it is finally time for me to actually get into like reorganizing and rearranging. Okay then, well, um, take two. <laughs> Basically, now that I've finished cleaning my room, I can start reorganizing it. I keep wanting to say organizing, I mean rearranging it. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm going to try to be doing with my room, so I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to actually film of this, but we'll figure out something and I'll try to get as much footage as I can. Ignore 
sure how my hair looks right now it's kind of messy but this is what we're currently working with and i can't decide if i even like it it just makes it feel like there's too much going on in my room right now like specifically on that side of my room now i have no idea what to do <laughs> Okay, hey guys. I am currently sitting on the floor doing my makeup because why not? I actually just finished editing a video and I'm waiting for it to save. But in the meantime, I wanted to come on here and say that, well, first of all, obviously it's a new day if you couldn't tell. It is the next day, it's Sunday, and I did not end up filming anything else the rest of the day yesterday. I showed you guys me doing kind of like the biggest major changes when I was rearranging my room, but after I turned the camera off, I ended up doing more stuff, and I kind of not completely redid my room, but I changed a few things. Like, for example, from what you guys saw, my bed was against the wall, which it still is. And then my dresser was under my window, and then my desk was in the corner. But I changed it, and I put my desk under the window, and then my dresser in the corner. And I still don't necessarily, like, really love where it's at right now. But I think it's definitely much better than where it was before, so I'm, like, more happy with it. Other than that, like, honestly, you guys didn't really miss that much when it comes to filming, because I didn't do anything the rest of the night. I finished rearranging my room and I sat down and that was the end of it. But honestly, it doesn't really matter because the only other thing that I really wanted to do yesterday was clean out my backpack. But I just checked my backpack this morning because I was going to start cleaning it out. And then I realized that I actually already cleaned it out. I think it was at like the beginning of summer. So I don't even need to do that anymore. I do have stuff that I need to do today though. Not everything I have to do has to do with school obviously, but what I'm doing today when it comes to school is my nails. I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do. I'm not sure if it's going to look good or if it's going to end up working out, but I already have my first day of school outfit picked out and the nails match it really, really well. Plus, I just think that they're cute. So anyway, yeah, that's basically the only thing that I have to do today, which does not sound like that much, but honestly, doing my nails takes forever for me. I don't know why. Like, even if I'm doing really simple nails, it takes me like five six even maybe seven hours so i could honestly end up spending my whole day doing my nails anyway i'm going to finish getting ready i'm going to upload this video and i will talk to you guys later i don't know <laughs> I think we're getting into a weird area here. It's later. I just got done doing my nails and it is 8.25 right now. I was not lying when I said it takes me forever to do my nails. Well, okay, I didn't like just get done doing my nails. I finished probably at least like 20 minutes ago and I've just been editing, hence why I'm filming on my MacBook. I didn't feel like taking the time to get anything else out. But anyway, I'm kind of happy with how they came out. I mean, I don't like really love it. I feel like it fits my first day of school outfit really well, so I'm not like really that mad. It's mainly just like, I feel like you can't really tell that I even have anything on my nails. I think I probably should have made the blue hearts a lot bigger. And then I probably also should have used like a cream colored nail polish on like the background. Because if I did that, they probably would have really popped out. But you know what? Honestly, it's fine. But anyway, I actually have to go to bed pretty soon. I mean, I'm probably gonna go to bed at like 10, but that's a lot earlier than I normally would because we have a pretty big day tomorrow. Like, we're basically doing stuff all day and I have to wake up pretty early, so yay. Anyway, that is my update for now. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Good morning. It is now Monday, which is 
absolutely insane. I slept in a little bit longer than I was intending. I set my alarm for 6.30 and I woke up at that time, but I fell asleep for like an hour. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't end up sleeping in like later than an hour. I knew that I should have set multiple different alarms, but I didn't, but it's okay. I'm just having to like rush a little bit this morning to get ready, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. It's 7.49 right now and we're probably gonna leave around 8.30. And what I'm doing today is I'm getting my hair done. I am honestly super excited. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing like a blonde balayage. This was kind of my inspiration. Like I wanted a balayage like this, but I did want a color like this. I don't know if it's going to turn out like that. I'm really hoping that it's more of a like light icy blonde color, but honestly you never know like how the blonde is gonna take and stuff. I'm just hoping that it doesn't end up looking bad. So I put my hair in a ponytail. I didn't wanna like straighten it or anything, but I also didn't wanna leave it down because it was kind of a hot mess. So this is what we're working with. I hate having my hair up. I don't think it looks good on me, but do what you gotta do. Should I wear a headband? I feel like that looks stupid. I feel like headbands always look so good on everybody but me. The other thing that I have to do today is I have to go to back to school night. Um, it starts at like 3.30, which is why we're going to do my hair so early. And then I was also thinking of maybe trying to go back to school shopping today. I don't know if that is going to happen, but I really hope that it does. So yeah, we'll see. Today is going to be a little bit of a busy day, but honestly, it's like a good busy. Anyway, so I'm going to finish getting ready and then we're going to go leave and I'm going to get my hair done. Okay, hey, it's Tuesday and school is tomorrow, which is so weird to say. I'm not even gonna try to think about that because it's gonna stress me out too much. Obviously, I did not film a whole lot of yesterday and like towards the end of the day, it was so hectic. I mean, the whole day was really hectic, but especially closer to the end. I really wanted to film more of me shopping and like getting school supplies and stuff, but my phone died. I'm not even kidding. I have the list of everything that I need on my phone and my phone was at like 2% by the time we were at the store. So I eventually ended up having to grab one of the notebooks that I was going to be getting for school and I got one of the pencils that I was also going to be getting for school and I had to write everything down that was on my phone because my phone was going to die. So there was like no way for me to record. I was just out literally all day. Earlier in the morning, I got my hair done, took forever, went to back to school night, went shopping, and then went home and went to bed. Like that was kind of the entirety of my day. So I never had a chance to actually stop and charge my phone. So it died, but everything's okay now. Anyway, since I wasn't able to actually show you any of my shopping, I thought I would give you guys a haul. I'm gonna try and make this quick because I don't want this whole video to be a haul. So the first thing I got was this. It is this like sage green planner. And if you guys know me, you would know that sage green is my favorite color. So I was like, this is actually perfect. I am literally so in love with this and I'm so excited to use it. School gets to be like so stressful and it's so nice to just write everything down. I also just got some like plain random socks. 
Okay, now this next thing is not for school, but if you know me, you know I can never go anywhere without finding something miraculous related. Most of the time they don't have that much miraculous stuff, but I was able to find this. The next more like actual like school supply stuff I got was this notebook, which happens to be the one that I was writing all of my list stuff. And don't look at my handwriting. I literally wrote all of this in like three minutes. I was rushing. My handwriting is so bad and me and my brother laughed at how bad it was the whole time. I couldn't even read what I wrote down. But I got it in green, honestly. It's not like my favorite color, but I genuinely do not care. Oh, I also got a second notebook. This one is just blue. I got this five star folder. I love their folders so freaking much. I got this ruler because the amount of times that I actually needed a ruler last year was kind of shocking. I also got these pencils and you know what? I was going to get the like really cool mechanical ones, these ones, but sometimes I find myself actually preferring these pencils. I got this huge pack and they are glittery. I also got index cards. These are a must for me. I needed them so many times last year and I mean the teachers always gave them out but you know I just might need them for something. I also got paper clips because you never know when you might need them. And then I also got a mini stapler. I've always wanted one of these. Plus like there are so many times where I do need to staple stuff to put it in or not to put it in but <laughs> to turn it in. So basically actual school supplies wise that's all i got it doesn't seem like that much but honestly i'm just going to be using a lot of the stuff that i already have and one thing that i noticed is like i bought quite a lot of stuff last year for school and i didn't end up using all of it really i think that the stuff that i got is like the only stuff that i'm going to need the other stuff is just kind of like little school necessity stuff i mean not all of it is like just for school but i'm gonna show you guys anyway First, I got this. This is the Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser from CeraVe. I have always wanted to try this before. I also got some coconut oil. I'm going to be using this to make some like exfoliation scrubs. And then I also got this bottle of hydrogen peroxide. And the reason I did is because you can actually use this to whiten your teeth. It doesn't, I don't think it lasts as long. It may not also be like as strong as fast as like using teeth whitening strips, but it is actually a lot better for your teeth. I also got this water bottle. I am absolutely in love with the color. I think it's so cute. And then I also got gum, of course. I'm probably gonna go through this so fast. And then I'm literally so excited about this. I got Heartstopper. I have been wanting to find this. I actually wanted to get all four of them, but they only had the first one and the fourth one. I've read the like webtoon that Alice has up, uh, which is basically just like the book. So I pretty much read all of this stuff, but I just wanted like an actual hard copy. And then I also got Solitaire, which is like an actual like book book. So I think if I am going to end up reading a book for school, it will probably end up being this one because most of the time you have to do like reading reports on books and it's kind of hard to do a reading report if you have something that's like a comic. I'm actually currently still reading the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I'm on the third book, so I do have to finish that, but I think once I do finish that, I'm going to read Solitaire. So going on to the last few things I got, I got these Kleenexes. I don't know that I'll actually need them, but I always want to like be safe. I got this unscented lotion because I cannot go anywhere without lotion. Always have to have it, so I like having a small one for my backpack. I found this cute little pack of q-tips in the travel section. I think it's so cute. And I always like to keep q-tips in my backpack, mainly for like makeup purposes because you know like you'll get mascara and stuff under your eye so it's nice to just have a q-tip to like quickly wipe it up i also got band-aids but they're bluey band-aids i've actually never seen bluey but honestly i was looking at all the band-aids and i saw this one and i was like you know they don't have miraculous ones so might as well just you know stick to my kids show theme and get bluey ones i think they're so cute hand sanitizer which is definitely a necessity with school i have to keep my hands clean 24 7. i also got a few makeup items i got like a double pack of brow pencils i absolutely love these eyebrow pencils from elf clear brow and eyelash gel i absolutely love eyebrow gel and i have not had it in a hot minute so i'm so excited to have it back i think i am now on to my last two things and these two things kind of go hand in hand but they are not for school I got this men's razor. Everyone just always says that men's razors are 10 times better and I've never used one before so I really just wanted to try it out. 
and then i also got baby oil it's just a small one because i found it in the travel section honestly i wasn't even looking for this but i saw it and i was like "Ooh, let me grab it so i did and here we are i'm so excited to use this <laughs> the next thing on my agenda is to clean my shoes i have my air forces i was just going to clean these shoes with i think you use baking soda but honestly i mean they are quite dirty but they're not like extremely dirty like i have had these for over a year do you see how clean these are i do think however i'm probably going to clean the laces I'm pretty sure you can put the shoelaces in the washer. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know, maybe that's not a good thing to do. Let's go do laundry and clean my shoes. I basically have everything packed and it is so freaking heavy. The big bulk of what I needed to do today is done, thank goodness. But the next thing on my list is to go make the exfoliation scrub or the sugar scrub. So I'm gonna go do that right now and then I'm going to try it out and like use it when I shower tonight. It's actually kind of raining right now, which I feel like is not really a good thing. Today is not the best day to have it be really gloomy. It should be really bright and happy because like it's my last day of summer but can't have everything I guess. Anyway back to my original story. I got sidetracked. Let's go do the rest of the stuff we need to do. Okay, it's much later now. It is six. I think it's almost seven. I have everything basically finalized, I think. I don't know. Things could always change, of course, but I think for the first day of school, I'm pretty set. I am going to be showering and just like getting ready for bed. The lighting is kind of terrible right now. I really probably should have taken an allergy pill. My nose is really stuffed and I keep sneezing and my eyes are like itching so badly. Anyway, it's now 9.26. It's time for me to go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow for the first day of school.